Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College, Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is Digital 2 EET 122. Uh, today we are going to discuss, well, basically the big picture, sharing the same line with a multiplexer and a deep demultiplexer. Um, so let's say we've got two systems here, system one, and we've got system two. And just so happens, system one has eight outputs, zero through seven, and system two has eight inputs. Well, you could easily string eight wires across and have that in parallel, and it would be pretty fast communication. However, are you really going to be able to do eight wires correctly? I know some of you guys have problems with four wires. <laughs> so, eight wires. Just complicated. Now try 16, now try 32. So um, the whole point of a multiplexer and demultiplexer is to create a single serial line between two systems. Okay, so right down here, um, this is our parallel. And now here's our serial system where it's still system one and system two, and it still has eight ends and it still wants to get uh, to eight different places. Um, what we can do is use a multiplexer, mux, on the in, and a demux on the out, and have a single serial line connecting them. Okay, so how do you do that? Let's go ahead and discuss. So as we know, multiplexers and demultiplexers have data in lines right here, and address lines right here, the data selects. So let's just call that S0, S1, S2. Because it's eight, um, eight ins, we're going to require three bits to uh, get our addresses. So same thing on our demultiplexer, S0, S1, S2. So it's got an address and it's got its eight data outs right there. So let's say we want to just have zero needs to send something, some data. It needs to be switched to the serial line and just make it easy. Zero needs to talk to zero. So the address here should be zero, zero, zero. Well, the address here is zero, zero, zero. So now let's have now we want one to talk to one. Let's say digital pulse is coming in on one. It needs to also be addressed to one. So address here is zero, zero, 001. Nope, you know what? To keep everything kosher here, let's do uh, S2, S1, S0. Let's give them the right magnitude for the addresses there. And that address also is 001. Okay, so you get the picture here. Basically, these addresses on the multiplexer side is the same address on the demultiplexer side. So all you can do is just assign um, the, like the, this is Sally. Sally is talking to her boyfriend, John. Okay, just assign John the same address as Sally. And what you do is make sure that these guys are getting the same address here. That's all it is. So what you do, S2, S1, S0, just create a three-bit counter, A, B, C, that gets fed to this guy. And it also gets fed to that one, that one, and that one. Okay, so, and just have this thing count from 0, 0, 0 all the way up to triple 1, okay? And what it does is basically 0 talks to 0 for a brief period of time, 1 talks to 1 for a brief period of time, and this switch just rapidly goes through, and they're basically following the same sequence. That's how it's done. And in really, it really is how it's done. Even a uh, telephone, you know, like... You're not constantly connected to that same person. You know, you're sharing the line. But what's happening is, is this counter is going so darn fast. 
you know, there's just, there's brief interruptions there in which the other seven people on the line, and just use an example here, are sharing that line where their data is getting through. But you know, as, you know, if you interrupt it for only brief periods of time, let's just say this is an analog description of your, of your wave of you talking, Sally and John talking there, you just take your digital samples right there. You can pretty rapidly reassemble that wave. Okay, brief moments of time, it's uh, you're not talking, somebody else is talking using the line. But the key is, is just having those addresses the same. Um, you want to get super fancy with it, you could even throw in your active low enables on there so that way you don't get any glitches in your addresses. Remember how we talked last time, how um, let's just say S1, let's just say transition, uh, let's say. It's like this. That's S0. Here's S1. And there's S2. So this position right here is 0, 0, 0. And that's position is 0, 0, 1. But let's just say this guy goes up a little slow here. It should be 0, 1, 0. But for a brief moment in time, it's reading 0, 0, 0. So you're back to let's just say Sally talking to her other boyfriend, Joe. <laughs> you don't want to be in on that conversation if you're John. Um, but all of a sudden you would switch back to, uh, would be switching back to zero. You don't want that to happen. You want to have this nice orderly progression. What you can do is use this active low enable like a strobe. So basically it says only take data right here. Your active low pulse occurs right then. So if your strobe was to be designed here, we'd active low enable the multiplexer or demultiplexer at that time, knowing that all regions of transition have already occurred in those counters. Okay, so that is the long and short of it, how uh, a multiplexer and a demultiplexer talk to each other. Just got to make sure you have the same addresses.